Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll begin our new segment that is called What Do You Know Wednesdays? So every Wednesday you'll have a new video uploaded with information or ways to use programs such as like we have on our screen AutoCAD. I'll even have some SketchUp, some concepts, some hand drafting, information about interior design, architecture, construction, or any tips or tricks that I know from the industry. And connecting two um, line segments together. So I'm going to demonstrate that. Many have also asked to demonstrate and use our command bar. We know where our commands are and our icons are found in our ribbon, but more so using that command bar when we want to type and actually use our keyboard in the program. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do those things here today for our first segment of What Do You Know Wednesdays. So using our join command, it allows us to join two lines or objects together so that they can become one because they're separate. I'm going to also show how to use a edit poly line, which is a way of joining our two segments together. So in front of us, we have a few shapes. If I zoom in to this line segment here, we have two lines, a white line and a magenta line. I'm just selecting these lines so you can see them individually. I want to join these two collinear lines together. Collinear means that they are touching and they're on a straight line segment so that we can make this one. Our magenta line will inherit the properties of our white line. If I go to my command bar or simply type on my keyboard the word join and press enter, I can select the source object, which is going to be our white line here. And then I'm going to proceed by pressing enter. And then in that command bar, it tells us to select the join to source. So we're going to select our magenta line and press enter. And now we have one line segment and the line is white. Demonstrate that one more time in the opposite direction. If I wanted to have the white line inherit the properties of the magenta line, if I type in the word join, select the magenta line, press enter, or I can right click, and then select the left side, which is the white line, and press enter. Now our line segment is magenta, and again, it is one line segment. If I move over in situations where we have our arcs, we have two arcs, a yellow arc and a red arc here. We have two separate objects or segments of an arc. This is considered to be a non-collinear simply because they are not touching in a line, in a straight line segment. So using the simple join command, if I type in join here, press enter, and I select my first arc, which is the yellow, and press enter, and then select the red, press enter. It lets us know that one was found, and I press enter, but they are not joined. They're still separate. For something in this case, we're going to type in the word join and press enter and just go ahead and use either the cross window or the selection window to grab both of these objects and when you press enter now we have a one circle and this is how we're going to be joining our arcs together to make a one circle I'll demonstrate that again here we have another shape. Here we have a zigzag. And we have a blue segment, red, white, magenta, another white, and a green. So we have these different line segments. A lot of times we may get confused for those that are new to this and say, okay, they're touching. So we have these are must be collinear. 
But again, these are also non-collinear because they're not in a straight path. So if I use that join command again by typing in the word join, and I select the blue line to start, and then I press enter, because that's my source. And now I'm gonna select the red, and I'm just gonna stop there for now, and press enter, they're not joined. Even if I was to type in the word join, and go to my source blue again, and press enter and try to select all of the other lines, it's going to keep popping off of the lines. It's not finding any to stick to. But if I did the same as I did with our arcs and I type in join, and it says select the source object or multiple objects to join, I can use the cross window or the selection window to grab everything and press enter then now it all has taken in one of the properties, which is that ending, which, which made our line green because that was the ending source. Panning over to this shape here, I wanna demonstrate how to use the edit polyline tool. To Get your edit. I'm going to type in the word ED and then it will come up your edit polyline. Or you can type in P E I D T and that is your edit polyline command also. And it's asking us to select the polyline. I'm going to start by selecting this cyan straight horizontal line at the bottom of my shape. And it asks us, because we know AutoCAD is a helpful handheld program, I like to call it, where it gives us instructions along the way. So in your command bar, do you want to turn it into one? Yes. So we want all of the rest of our lines that make up this shape to be the same color and then the same properties. So I'm going to say yes. So type in Y or simply press Enter. Then it asks us, as, what do we want to do with this polyline? We want to close it or join it in other options as well. But for now, we're talking about joining objects and lines together. So we're going to simply select join or type in J and press enter. Now it's telling us to select the object. So we're going to select all of these lines that make up this object individually. So the first vertical line then I'm going to select oh I'm going to select that vertical line and press enter and then I'm going to say J again because I want to continue joining I want to stay in this command now I'm going to select the top and press enter again it asks us what do we want to do I'm going to say J because I want to stay in the command and then I'm going to select the next line segment and press enter. And now we have all of the, our lines that make up this shape in the cyan color. And I can close the command by pressing enter. And now if I hover over any of these lines, I have one unit that is joined. Now that may have been a little rocky for some, so I'm going to simply undo. and demonstrate that again. <clears throat> and you can do this with any side of your object. You don't have to start at the bottom. I'll demonstrate that. So remember, we're edit, we're using our polyline edit. So we can type in the word edit and once it comes up, we can select edit polyline from your drop down or you can type in PE P E D I T and that is your polyline and edit. P stands for polyline and then the word edit. So it tells you in your command bar, select the polyline. And we'll look at that or multiple piece in a moment. So if I select, let's start with the top of our shape, which is that white arc. We're going to press enter or type in Y for yes, because we want to turn it into one. 
Remember, we're joining things, so J and press Enter. And then begin to select your objects. So just go around your shape. And selecting each line, you're going to press Enter. And join again. And select the next line. And press Enter. And then join again. And select the last of the shape. And press Enter. And again, once you're finished with that, you're going to press enter again to close the command. You're out of that command bar, that command when your command bar says type a command. Go ahead and select your object with your cursor and you have one unit. Now, let's take a look at another if I use my rectangle tool, which we all are familiar with, and I'm just going to drop that rectangle, and I'm going to see that it is one unit, so I want to explode this. I'm just going to use that explode command, select my object to explode, and press enter. And now we have our four separate lines that make up this rectangle, right? joining this together we can also edit polyline or join something like this or any shapes that at least connect so if I type in P E D I T for polyline edit and press enter when it says select a polyline or that multiple if I select multiple it's going to ask me to select my objects I can just simply do a cross window or selection window to grab everything and again press enter and do we want to convert any lines arcs or spleens to polylines no not right now because this is a rectangle so I'm going to type in no now select the polylines and I actually did this a little backwards but it's okay yes Y for yes and then now I can go through just like I did and join all of the lines together now this is a long way to do this but I definitely want to make sure it's demonstrated I think we got them all So now we have made a rectangle, a rectangle again as one piece by joining the lines together. This is how to use the join and edit polyline commands and working in your command bar at the bottom of your screen by typing things in and using your keyboard. When you are joining lines together, remember to use that join command, you need to have your lines to be collinear to each other. Non collinear lines is in situations where you will have to use the edit polyline. And see you guys next video. I'll also be posting videos on What Do You Know Wednesdays as a way of answering questions that many of you may have with using programs and understanding different commands and just demonstrating some ways to draw cabinetry, doors, or whatever your questions may be. This will be done on this platform here and our segment of What Do You Know Wednesdays.